This is the Loot Room Trap Base. In my opinion, the simplest but very effective trap base. From the outside, it looks like a simple 2x2 two two design that got raided from the side, exposing what used to be a loot room. But on the inside, there's a very simple mechanic waiting to surprise anyone who wanders in. And if you want to see this trap base in action, you can check it out over on my main channel where I was able to, of course, obtain some amazing loot from it. But let's get into the build. This base will cost 1,069 wood and 6,405 stone to build. And the 24 hour upkeep is 854 stone. All right, now in order to build this trap base, the first thing you want to do is find a good monument. I highly recommend mining outpost. Once you find it, Get a good angle. You want to make sure you can see all the way through mining outpost, or at least the location where you want to be able to shoot slash bait. So where there's most traffic, so most traffic on mining outpost is going to be inside and that tower up there. So in this case, I'm going to want to build it facing that direction because that's where it's going to grab most people's attention. So facing that direction, go ahead and place four, four square foundations. Here you want to place two double doorways, load by walls, ceiling, and upgrade. And slap your doors on. So when you open them, they swing outwards, not inwards. Especially this one. This one's very important that it swings outwards, and you'll see why in a little while. Then you can slap down your TC. Boom. Now for the rest of the build out here, from the far side, away from the monument, you're going to want to place three triangular foundations. And then upgrade them. Now we're gonna go ahead and knock this off at the beginning that way we can get it out of the way and you don't screw up later in the video, but that is place the wall, base in the area that I said you wanna bait from. Because this is obviously you're not gonna be doing this on dead server. There's gonna be players. You don't want them to kill you. So upgrade that to wood. Do not upgrade that past wood because you're gonna to have to knock it down later. Then go ahead and wall it in. And on that middle triangle, go ahead and place a single doorway. Wall the rest of it in. Upgrade. Up your uh, single door in place, lock it up, doesn't matter which way that one swings, and put your roof on. All right, now put a double doorway right here, followed by a single doorway, single doorway, and then this will be the loot room. These two square foundations will be the loot room. And I'm gonna do those in a second. And upgrade everything around there. Half floor, followed by two ceilings. But once you get that done, you break that last twig there because that's how they're going to walk in and out and upgrade those. And up top on the ceiling slash floor is a half wall with the soft side facing in. All right. And for the next part, we're going to be placing ramps. Need one on the far right side here and then on the other side. Well, over here, you're going to want to pick up the double door. I can be able to place them otherwise. Pick up the double door, place you two more ramps, top and bottom. Upgrade all that stone. Place back down your double door, swinging outwards. And grab yourself another double door, also swinging outwards. You need two more doors right here for the airlock. All right, now for electricity, you're gonna need pressure pad, door controller, wire tool. Technically doesn't take any electricity because it produces it itself. I'm gonna start with the hardest part, that's the pressure plate. Not really hard though. Uh, now, when you're up here on this ceiling, all right, you want to place the pressure pad perfectly. So the center of it is right there, right dead center in that little crack where all the cracks meet in that corner. You want to place it right there. And then the door controller will attach to that door. So we're going to place the door controller on the wall next to it, unlock the door. Pair the door controller by interacting with it. Green means it worked. It's paired. We can lock the door now, and now it's paired to this double door. Now to wire it up, make sure to grab, whoop, make sure to grab the power output. Grab the power input, then it's not going to work. Then you're going to get deep done. So grab the power output, and it's just this simple. Put it into the power input the door controller. Go back, make sure you have no wires visible. You're good to go. Oh, look at that. It's already working. Cool. All right, last thing you need for this is three shotgun traps, some handmaids. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to you on how many you want to put in there. But first shotgun trap you're gonna place, obviously, behind the doors where the pressure plate is at. You want one, the first one you place on the far left, you want it angled a little bit, like such. And the middle one, put it straight, and this one, put it straight. 
reason being is because that way if someone else peeks their head around there or there might be two people it'll shoot them got a direct line of sight towards the left side of that door the only thing left now is i'm gonna knock down the wall i'm gonna use a machete because it only takes two of them about one and a quarter and there you go you're open for business doesn't look too appetizing right now to go in there but whenever someone walks in there they're gonna try crouch walking in here like oh wow it's just a it's a loot room that got raided let's come a little too deep boom doesn't matter they could hug the doorway too late and oh and if they try going up on the high side done there's no surviving this i recommend getting two boxes but for the first box placement pretty simple place it right there that way anyone who's running by sees it that's gonna be the first thing that draws their attention they're gonna come in to investigate and we want it to look juicy you could add some nice skin boxes glow in the dark so that way at night the whole neighborhood can see it second box my favorite place to place it. for one you can put guns in it yes you heard me correctly so now you're set up so anyone who comes in and investigates this box will see another one and then they'll want to go in deeper to check that one now it's very important that this box right here toss some garbage in it anybody you kill and you get some like burlap clothing or something toss their clothing in there what's going to happen is somebody's going to come by they're going to see there's loot in there so they're going to suspect there's probably loot in that one there too they're going to go deeper now anytime someone comes in here to get some free loot out of these boxes you get surprised I forgot to mention this, this is weird it's really weird but like yeah they'll glitch into the ceiling and i'll actually show you guys something funny you can just sit up here because when people die bodies or their heads will like glitch through the ceiling and you'll be the last thing they see when they die because their head goes through the ceiling you can loot their body from right here oh, you only have to go down there to collect loot you can you can literally just sit right here and tell them someone dies with their body most of the time people have multiple teammates you're not going to be the only one I mean, they're not going to be the only one. So, in the case they die, their loot's going to be sitting there. You're going to have a teammate holding that front entrance, right? Or they might already be in trying to grab it. So, if you happen to have a couple shotgun traps laying around, this would be a very good spot to put them. That way, when you hear somebody, you trapped them. If they have a teammate, you can spawn in, open that puppy, and kill them. They're already in here. So, they might be back there. You can open it up. The cool thing is, when you open up that double door, actually creates an airlock they can't get in they cannot get in through this not even through the top so that creates an airlock where they cannot get in and get the loot a little dangerous a little risky because your tc's right there but it works oh and another funny thing <laughs> i think i did this in the video too so another funny thing is if somebody knows it's a trap and they're trying to go up there to loot their body you can actually open this door when they're looting and it'll push them into the pressure plate and kill them again. Now for baiting, my favorite thing to do is sit right here in this little corner on the hard side of the wall, grab a pickaxe or a tool, just start swinging at this wall. And you can alt look while you're doing it and just watch them. So they really won't, if you're sitting here like this, they really won't see you, just watch. So you're picking at the wall when they're climbing through, when they're climbing through right here, they won't be able to see you be sitting here trying to climb through and by the time they can see you too late a sure pad is gonna get them all right so you can sit there and you can soft side or hard side that wall make a lot of noise get people to come around and snoop and they're just gonna think they're gonna think that maybe the base wasn't fully raided and there's a soft side wall that you're trying to get through i mean it's reasonable open open loot room they're gonna think you're up to something they want that loop so they're gonna kill you and they're gonna come here and check it out they die all the way to bait another good one that works and this is why I say to face that area towards the monument. The best thing is you could sit right here, right? You can shoot at anybody in that monument and get attention and cause a lot of noise. And it's going to bring groups over. I can almost guarantee you, you will get raided because you're going to attract people with guns. But I can guarantee you, you will get some guns because they're going to climb in. They're going to loot your body when they kill you. Obviously, you don't want to hit them and they're going to die. And then get ready to run with the loot. Don't live here. There's a bad base to live in. Good for getting loot. Bad living in. And that is how you build the loot room trap base. I hope this video was helpful. But until next time, I will catch y'all in the next video.